What you guys got another video here for you on how to change your IP address in Windows 10. But before we do that, let's just have a quick word from our video sponsor. This video has been sponsored by GoodOffer24. If you want to grab yourself a Windows 10 professional key for cheap, then head over here, sign up an account, make sure the key is supported in your region, and then hit the buy now button, and then add in my promo code BR09. Apply this and you'll get 18% discount on the price that you can see here, just like so. And then submit your order. Now, whether you're using a dynamic IP address or static IP address, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So let's go down to the settings button and then inside here, we're going to go to network and internet. Click on there. Inside here, we're going to go to change adapter options. This will change our adapter options for our ethernet here as you can see i'm on the ethernet connection and we're going to go into change adapter options once you're inside there you're going to see a bunch of uh, cards inside here with these your uh, network cards that you've got on your system and we're going to go to our realtek uh, gaming gbe family uh, controller which is our network uh, card here which i'm going to change so i'm going to right click on this and go properties open this one up and uh, once this is open, we're going to go to our Ethernet properties box and we are interested in Internet Protocol version 4, which is TCP IP version 4. That's what we need to do here. So we're going to open this up. In here, you'll see we've got obtain an IP address automatically. And to use the following IP address, that means that you will be using a static IP address. Now this is your internal address and not your external address. So you'll be changing your internal address for your IP. So this means that if you got banned on a game or if you was on some sort of uh, chat room and you got kicked out and banned by IP, this will not help you get back onto that server. This is just a static IP for your internal address. So let's open up the command prompt here by typing CMD in the search and open up the command prompt. What we're going to do here is type in here IP config. This will give us all the information for our network card. So let me just go ahead and type this out here. There we go and push enter. Inside here, you're looking for your ethernet adapter, which is this one here. And uh, we are looking for the information of the default gateway, subnet mask, and also your IPv4 address, which is your IP address. So you can see here the subnet mask is 255.255.255 and you can see the default gateway is 192.168.1 and 1 and the IP address is 192.168.1 and 12. So these octets need to be the same at the very beginning. The first three numbers need to be the same. So you can see here we're back in our panel here where we can make changes. So I'm going to put 192.168.1 um, one and one. This is for my default gateway. This needs to be as it is. And then for our IP address, we're going to use the first three octets here, which is the 192.168.m1. And then we can change the last number, which is going to be the number we're going to be using for our uh, IP here. So let me go ahead and change this to say 200, something like that. Now you need to make sure that this number is not being used by any other device and uh, you will need to check this out and you can check that in the command prompt so once you're inside the command prompt here what we're going to do is use the ping command so do ping and then you want to type in your new uh, number here so let me go ahead and do this so I'm going to go ping 192.168.1.200 and then push enter and it should say unreachable and that means that um, IP is not being used it's because it can't be reached. So we'll be able to use this IP, which is what I'm going to be doing. Another thing I want to do is just make sure that uh, it's not being used here. So go up space dash A and inside here, you can see that the IP address is not being used by any device here or on our network. So we can use this uh, IP address. So let's go ahead and uh, close this off. And I've blurred out all the physical addresses here, which are your MAC addresses uh, on this uh, computer here. So these are all listed down here. So we're safe to go ahead and do that. Now we can click on the submask, and this will give us 255, 255, 255, and 0. And that is now set in stone.
All we need to do now is give it a DNS server. You can use a DNS server of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and just use Google's DNS here by typing 8888. And we're going to be putting in an alternative DNS of 4444. And you can use whatever DNS that suits you. Click OK and uh, we should be good to go. So once we've done this, what I'm going to do is then test to make sure that our internet is working. That is the most important thing. So let's go ahead and open up our command prompt box again. And we just quickly uh, ping uh, Google here just to see whether we get a reply. So do google.com, push enter, and you can see here we are starting to get a reply. And that means we have internet connectivity and that's working just fine. So what I need to do here now is go over to Google and I'll just quickly do a quick test here. And we are now getting internet activity. And that's pretty much that. That's basically how you set up a static IP. Now, if you want to remove it, all you need to do is go back into your network settings here. Go back into change adapter options. Go back into your network card. Once you're inside your Ethernet status, what you need to do is click on the properties button here. And we can then just reset these um, ones by going back into Internet Protocol version 4. And you'll see our IP is there so we can obtain an IP automatically and remove those click OK and close all this off and then you will get a reconnection there you should see uh, no internet access that means it's still uh, setting that up for us and that's okay if you look down the bottom here now we should have internet connectivity and that's pretty much it anyway that's gonna be about it for this video my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.